People who've gotten their bosses fired, how? Phoned him to tell him I won't be at work for the rest of the week as my mum is terminally ill in hospital. The next day, about an hour after she passed away, he phoned and asked why I wasn't at work. I just hung up on him so I wouldn't say anything that would get me in trouble. The next day I sent the area manager a whatsapp message explaining what he'd be done and attached a video of him breaking the freezer door while having a tantrum which cost the store nearly you acute 5000 in lost stock and the repair costs, which he'd told the AM it broke on its own. He got fired that day and I got 2 weeks off with full pay. I was fired because I abandoned my job while on short term disability. Because while on approved leave. They are a date for me to return. Never informed me, by their own admission. And when I obviously didn't return to work. I was fired. The locker I had at work had my work boots in it that the company pays $90 a year towards. However there isn't a pair under $100 available. So you always end up having some come out of your paycheck. At that point they are yours regardless of the company line. They disagreed and said they were thrown out. I reported them stolen. And the HR director responsible for getting me fired was fired. Was working maintenance at an ice rink. The rule for anyone who knows how an ice rink works is if the Zamboni doors open. You get the FCK off the ice. Some dick had decided to ignore the fact that they were open and that I was standing in the doorway. And decided to rip off one last slap shot. The puck bounced off the glass and hit me in the head. I was okay. But reported it to my boss. Because we have to fill out an incident report for things like that. The boss asked are you okay? I said I feel okay. Then he responded with well. We don't really have to report it then do we? I reminded him of the protocol. But it was clear he didn't want to do it. Since he wouldn't do it. I sent a descriptive email of the incident up to the administration. Because I felt there should be some sort of documentation paper trail in case god forbid I ended up having a brain hemorrhage or something a few days later. The boss was fired by my next shift. It was the night shift and for years this fucking guy had been either locking himself in the office and playing video games all night. Or going home and fucking sleeping on the clock and no I'm not making that up. Finally one night the regional manager showed up for a surprise visit at like 3 a.m. It was a group effort. The night crew took great pleasure in telling the RM exactly where his night manager was. He was presenting a powerpoint that I had put together to all the managers in the building. There was something he wanted to add at the last minute that he had never told me about. And when it wasn't there. He verbally abused me for like 5 minutes straight. Yelling. Name calling. Telling me to prove to him that I had a college degree and wasn't just making it up. I was a contractor so I was afraid to complain to HR because I assumed they'd just fire me. But a lot of other people in the room did. After the meeting. I went into the share drive folder to find the presentation notes where the extra information was supposedly located. I watched the last change time change from a day ago to the current time. Then he immediately called and said it was right there in the notes file. He was fired the next day for unprofessional behavior. In college I worked in a takeout restaurant just off campus. And we were all employed by the school. I was 17-18 years old, back in 2007-2008, and my boss, the manager, was a 40-something creeper. Hitting on me. Touching me inappropriately, trying to massage my shoulders. Tickling me. Putting his hands on around my waist, despite me asking him to stop. Then he friended me on Facebook. I declined. And suddenly my work schedule was changed. I was on shift during hours when I had class. And when I explained that problem. I got taken off the schedule altogether. I told the assistant manager what was going on. Which I was explicitly told by the manager not to talk to the assistant. And he reported what was going on to upper management. Boom. Manager was fired. I worried for a while if he was going to come after me for that. I worked in a call center once with a female supervisor. She was a particularly shitty person. Long story short she hated me because I would refuse to date her. She asked multiple times and multiple times I explained very nicely that I was not interested but were to remain friends. 
After about the third time she started giving me negative marks for reviews. Phone calls and the such. One day she pulled me into the office with another manager and proceeded to write me up for talking on my personal phone during work hours. Mind you I had not done this. I looked at her and refused to do this walked out of her office and into the department manager's office. This was my first complaint after about 3 years with this company. I explained the situation and advised what has been transpiring for months now. Apparently someone else had seen this about a month ago and had already went to management about what she was doing to me. Within 10 minutes she was pulled into the office and demoted back down to my position but in another department. The thing that sucked is that this department set directly across from me. Not me. But my GF at the time. We were both working at a small burrito chain. She was front of house manager and I was kitchen manager. Above us was one senior manager and then the owner. We did tip pooling based on ours. And the senior manager always told my GF not to count the tips every night. As he divided it up at the end of the week. Well. Of course she counted them every night. Turns out the senior manager was stealing almost $500 a week from employees and tips. And because his previous farm manager never questioned him it had likely been going on for years. She told the owners and he was gone the next day. A week later his wife left him. I've told this story a few times before. So I'll keep it short. I didn't get my boss fired. But she blames me. Boss and I didn't get along. But she didn't have the authority to fire me. But. She promised her boyfriend my job. So she hires her boyfriend in another position. With the plan they'll drive me to quit. And then she can just promote him to my job. This lasted for about a month. She fired him when they broke up. He confessed their scheme to me on his way out. We'd actually become friends at this point, and I tell him he should really tell HR. HR does their investigation. She's fired because sleep with me and I'll give you a job is textbook sexual harassment. And she tells anyone who'll listen that it's all my fault because I didn't quit like I was supposed to. He was such a bullshitter. All talk. He yells at me one day for failing to do some task, which got done anyway because someone got a hold of my boss. They only needed a mailing address I forgot to give them. Meanwhile. He's over at his buddy's house looking at his new boat. Piss me off so I called his boss and told him all the work that gets done out of this office is me. Twas a long talk with him. But big boss said he had a feeling that was what was going on. This obviously wasn't the first time my boss was slacking off. But him giving me sheet when he wasn't even in the office was the camel back straw. Boss didn't get fired. But left shortly after. Was an awkward couple of weeks. Big boss ended up writing me a nice recommendation letter when I changed positions. One summer I volunteered to help a conservation society in East Africa. The aim of the project was to educate the local rural population about poaching and to get them to help us stop it from the ground up. Anyway. I was staying with the lead ranger and his family and on numerous occasions he served us meat that I'm 100% sure was poached. He tried to tell me that it was pork. But it was dark and gamey with lots of small bones. I think that it was small antelope like Dick Dick or Diker. When I returned to Nairobi I mentioned to my grandpa, his boss's boss, that we'd eaten some odd meals. He investigated. And found out that my boss had a poacher friend who was selling him illegal meat. He was fired. I didn't feel guilty. Poaching is awful. I left my last company due to a bully of a grams. Many people were leaving over him causing problems. Being sexist. Racist. Doing things people could easily sue them for claiming sexual harassment. List goes on. Everyone informed HR during their exit interviews. Hell he even tried to make my exit interview not happen. Though they still weren't doing anything. I had been at my new job for a couple months now and was still getting complaints from my old team almost daily. So I made an email account and named concerned company name crew. Sent an email to everyone who had an email account within the company explaining what he did still did with events spanning from his start to the day prior. They fired him within the week and my old crew thanked me. I took a phone call on my cell when at my desk. Middle manager came up and screamed at me. 
yelling about how I was not allowed to take calls for clients while at that office. I was a contractor and made it perfectly clear that I did work for multiple clients prior to doing work for this company. The CTO's office was 10 feet from mine. He came out and stood in his doorway listening to the rant. When the middle manager was done I just looked over at the CTO and said it's him or me and at the moment I don't give a FCK which you pick. CTO walked the middle manager out right then. Funny thing. I didn't hang up throughout the incident. And it was my wife on the other end. I was spending about 70 hours a week at their site digging their staff out of a hole they had dug themselves in. My manager wanted to prove I'm slacking off so he could write me up. So he watched CCTV footages then wrote. Printed out and signed a detailed 17 pages worth of Word document what did I do in the past 2 days. With time stamps. Like. 07. 59 arriving. 08. 01 speaking with co-worker A and B. 08. 07 sitting down to my desk. Etc. Dot. He told me that he's not happy with my work ethics if I won't improve my efficiency. I'm for it. Full stop. I took the papers and showed to his boss and told her that I'm not happy with my manager's work ethics and his efficiency might be better if he wouldn't watch 17 hours of CCTV footages to spy on an employee. She was terrified. It would have been a rock solid lawsuit for me, but I love my job, and we had to search for a new manager. Also. My salary raised. Not my boss but I helped my friend get her boss fired. He was a general manager. And always grabbing her sides. Purposely scheduling her to have shifts alone with him. Asking her for nudes. Asking her to sleep with him. Etc. She reported it so many times to the owner, big boss, and they said they couldn't do anything because they hadn't seen it and had no their reports other than her account. So I called and complained as a customer about how I witnessed him being creepy to her and how it made me uncomfortable. For the most part true lol. I just don't shop there. Not my boss but a teacher I had. He mistakenly left up some child porn on his laptop. Which was connected to the smart board. And I walked into the room and was going to ask him a question. His smart board isn't facing the door. And I walk in and see he is nowhere to be found. And pictures of some middle school age girls completely naked is what I see. I immediately lock the door. So he can't get back in. And I call the principal to the room. And he gets fired. And goes to jail. Replaced my IT manager here. I basically just knew more than him and a lot of computer stuff. So he started getting spiteful and weird around the workplace. Over time his work declined. His stats were hitting an all time low. While mine were completely fine. After enough time passed. Most of the projects were assigned to me instead of him. He would even dump a lot of his tasks to me that he was supposed to do. Eventually the CEO realized there wasn't a need for him anymore since I was doing all the work basically. So they fired him and gave me a big raise and promotion. Hope you're doing well. Matt. By being excellent at my job and doing things right. I'm pretty proud of this actually. I had a job where we worked on billable hours. So even though we were all on salary we tracked our time in 6 minute increments so it can be billed to the appropriate client. The trouble is my boss was too much of a perfectionist so we spent far too much time on every project and we could never bill the client for all the time we actually spent. That makes everyone look bad. We have all sorts of performance metrics so people end up working a ton of unrecorded overtime and being miserable trying to protect their bonus. Well I wouldn't do it. And I would let my employees do it, I could protect them. So over a couple of years I came to be responsible for easily 80% of the projects coming through our office because I was great at my job. So the other managers couldn't eat enough time to make my boss look good anymore. Since my boss couldn't put out profitable work the company sent him packing. It was wildly satisfying. I threw myself an I told you so party. Me and my co-workers suffered for years from our manager. He got his position because one of the GMs was his best buddy. He has zero knowledge in management and how to handle tasks. He was an asshole who kept harassing and threatening to get us fired for no reason. He calls us every hour to check if we're at our offices and tries to call us even outside working hours. 
Luckily his GM friend just got retired 2 months ago so nobody will cover his ass. I wrote an email to our new GM and included all my co-workers to meet him and discuss our issues in the department in private. We made a list of valid points and proofs on how bad is that manager and how it's gonna affect the company if he's gonna keep his position etc. Three weeks passed and we got an announcement of our new manager who is qualified and had good years of experience. Ah and we never saw that jerk ever again. Close bracket. His mom passed away. I told him that I can handle the restaurant. Go home. He came back later and insisted that he take my bank deposits in. Came back 15 minutes later and said he didn't have the key to open the bank deposit chute. He put a deposit bag back in the desk. Luckily I had a witness. He dropped the smaller overnight deposit on my desk and not the daytime deposit I had prepared. I had the witness weigh me open it. It was $1500 light. I called the district manager and that was it for him. Fucker tried to put it on me. What an asshole. Not my boss. But my wife's boss. He made sexually harassing remarks to her. And she was extremely uncomfortable. She didn't want to lose her job. So she didn't say anything. They had a company retreat in Vegas one year. And spouses were invited. We even had our own little wife's luncheon, which I thought was a hoot. Being a husband and all. That night at dinner. He came over to me and said you know. I really hope I pull MRS. Handigal's key out of the hat tonight. Double quote. That sheet doesn't fly with me. So I walked over to the CEO of the company and told him what the guy had just said to me. He asked my wife's boss if it was true. And he said it was just a little joke. I have no idea if there was really going to be a key swap. Honestly I hope it was a joke. But either way. It was a career ending moment for that guy. He was told to leave immediately. And their HR rep started the termination paperwork before going to bed that night. Sorry. HR reps. I ratted him out for plagiarizing another consulting firm's deliverable documents and trying to pass them off as our own company's work. Our team had done an in-depth business process analysis. But he didn't like our conclusions because they didn't lead to follow on work. He got super verbally abusive. To the point where one junior employee, who had put her heart and soul into our deliverables, actually started crying. He sent us home. Pulled an all weekender. And basically copied the other reports and presentations word for word. We had a meeting with our PM prior to presenting our findings and recommendations to the client. And I just sort of blurted out but that's the same as, the other work. It wasn't like he'd have gotten away with it. The original was in a folder named research on our shared drive. Everyone on our team had seen it. The PM asked if it was true. He said yeah. But I made significant changes to customize it for the client, I. E. He had changed names. Logos. And formatting. We got asked to provide the location of the work we'd done. And then we left the meeting. The next time I saw my boss he was leaving the building with a large cardboard box filled with his personal effects. Does it count if it's how I got a teacher fired since technically as a student? They're your bosses? So she was coming in to replace the previous teacher. Who'd been fired and a few days into teaching that class. She was doing roll call one afternoon. Remember that this was middle school. And I was a cringe worthy preteen. After she called my name and said here. I turned to a classmate and said I think she likes me. She yelled boy. If you don't shut your Mexican self up. The whole class started laughing and I got so into my feelings that I went to a counselor and told her that I had felt offended as an Hispanic American because I'm not Mexican. She got fired that afternoon I believe. I feel bad for her looking back on it. Working a dead end retail management job and noticed for a while when she closed the store things were always off. An employee asked me later on if she had a problem with drinking. I said her responsibility outside of work is not my issue and thank you for the concern and took the red flag that was raised and ran with it. I watched hours of surveillance tape I had access to until she was caught in the act of some pretty bad sheet concerning drinking on the job and theft. I hope she fixed her problem but I was done fixing her work issues for her. 
I took photos of him passed out in the cash office with cocaine and a needle on his person. He hadn't been showing up which was screwing us over because it meant we could only transact credit cards because he was the only person with a key to the cash office. When he did show up he was either strung out and useless or withdrawing and angry. On the days he didn't show up we just gave sheet away for free if someone didn't have a credit card. I mean. It wasn't the customer's fault or us. The employees. Fault that our manager was useless and we didn't know how to contact the owner. I finally managed to suss out the owner's email address and took photos of our manager unconscious on the office floor. Sent the photos and then called an ambulance. This manager was fired. Along with his little girlfriend. Who had been hired 4 months after me but had been promoted to shift leader because she sucked mad doc in the men's room. This was back when I worked in radio and we had a new program director come in for our station. He was an absolute ass. The rest of us were all very tight and like a family and he made every day at work complete misery. The last straw came when he made one of DJs cry in a meeting. We all band together and went to the GM's office and let him know if our PD wasn't fired we'd all be quitting that day. The GM heard each of our complaints. Let us know he'd take a day to discuss the situation. Other groups in our building heard about what was going on and they also flooded the GM's office complaining about the guy. The GM called him into his office and fired him. It was crazy how everyone in the entire building banded together against one person. Not myself. But a former manager. I was working retail at the time. And our GM was sexually harassing one of our freight workers. Before long she approached our assistant manager who noted that he would take care of it. When he brought up the subject with our GM. He went full on defense mode and started threatening the assistant manager. That afternoon our assistant manager contacted our regional manager. Yeah. GM was fired the next day. Apparently the GM tried to take down the assistant with him by blaming him for foul ups in policies and practice on other matters. Didn't work. Our assistant was an awesome guy. It was good to see that piece of sheet GM finally get the boot. Not a boss. But a teacher. While doing vocational studies in Spain, we were all over 18 and it takes two school years. Two of the teachers kept complaining about the five of us that had jobs apart from the 30h a week compulsory classes. They would insist that we had to do our team coursework together because otherwise we would slow down the rest of the class that are fully dedicated. We went to the headmasters and explained the situation. We all had different jobs and it was impossible to find time to met and write group projects. The rest of the class was happy with us mixing. Since they had the time flexibility to do so. The headmaster was so impressed with how the class was organizing itself that forced the teacher to accept our arrangements. And fired them by the next term after investigating the treatment that working students were getting in other classes. It was epic equals. And we all passed on first attempt. My boss, shift manager, was about 28 and had been engaged for almost a year now. When we got a new team member who was a 17 year old blonde girl. Turns out he was making advances on her but she would go no further than making out. She liked to gossip so one day I started a conversation about it while the GM was on the other side of the crack door. They both were fired and the GM had a discussion with me to not go to the cop since it never went further than kissing sat down in my cubicle eating lunch which consisted of french fries and my boss walks by and says i really shouldn't be eating french fries and be focused on losing the baby weight i immediately got up and told his immediate supervisor i wanted him gone and he was fired this was a new manager who thought pretty highly of himself and talked down to all of his female employees i was 12 weeks postpartum and never mentioned wanting to lose weight as i was breastfeeding all of us were relieved and come to find out there were several complaints already filed against him. Freaking Craig. Had a co-worker who was kind of an occasional manager. He basically managed when the family was out of town. Probably early 30s hitting on 16 year old girls type of guy. Recently divorced as well. Told the guy that I had some customers trying to cash out because the servers were not allowed to use the register for cash payments. He ignored me and continued taking cringy photos with margaritas at the bar. So I took care of it. 
He walked over there and saw me handling the check and he got so pissed. Threatening to beat my ass. I was a minor at the time. Told a manager when they returned. I covered his last shift. He came in expecting to work and got fired instead. I'll always remember the look on his face. He was devastated. He'd been working there off and on for like 10 years. I worked at my local staples in the tech department for a little over a year. In that time I was informed and witnessed my supervisor commit fraud and refusing to do his job. I was only 17 at the time. Doing my work plus his work. I end up getting in trouble with management because I'm not selling enough. But there is stuff to be stocked on the shelf because my supervisor is too focused on making excuses how it's my fault and one of the other employees fault after both of us had worked the entire weekend putting away an entire week's worth of stuff away. One thing led to another I ended up putting in my two week notice. Not three days after this my supervisor who was deathly afraid of heights is on the ladder putting stuff away. I will add I'm extremely bad with heights. Like more than halfway up I start to shake if I look down. I am carrying 15 plus pound printers over my shoulder up the ladder. I brought multiple issues I had with him to management and his conduct with how he refused to train us and how he would swoop in and steal sales from us if we had to grab something. A few months after I left I needed to grab something. Was talking with someone who was there when I left. He was fired not too long after I quit. It appeared most of the tech people that were there when I was working there quit soon after I did. In the 90s. I worked for a company with several departments. A supervisor had transferred in from out of state. She was the kiss up shit down kind of person and she foolishly treated the secretaries worst of all. I silently watched her downfall. I don't know if the secretaries actually organized her professional demise or if it was just an accumulation of individual acts of petty revenge. But they got her fired. Her reports to the big boss showed up late or not at all. Messages didn't get through. Meetings were mysteriously cancelled. One time. A secretary told me with malicious glee that she called another to say that the supervisor was coming to a meeting with a cold. The second secretary removed all of the Kleenex from the conference room before she got there. That's not even to mention the gossip they spread. After their campaign of destruction. The supervisor's reputation became one of a woman who was incompetent, scatterbrained, and emotionally unstable. The more she protested that she had left a message or she knew that file had been on her desk, the worse it looked for her. Finally, she was let go. I was young and it was one of my first office jobs. But it taught me the important life lesson of never fucking with a secretary. In front of about 20 costumers my new managers said I was dirty for not washing my apron every day and were given 3 warnings before we are let go. That day she gave me all 3 in a row. Not washing my apron. Not wearing a hat. And wearing black shoes that were not fancy enough, wasn't too upset about losing it just thought that they must have needed a reason to have less workers until I went into the mall passing by I decided to say hello to some of my exemplaries and saw me regional manager. We were just taking about what was new in the past few months and mentioned offhandedly about 3 strikes in one day. Appalled she asked for me to go into more detail. A friend who works there told me the manager who fired me was fired herself. 